What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I've noticed the trend has begun. So who am I to not talk about my 10 designer choices for the winter that I'm looking forward to wearing or that I would suggest you check out potentially as well. So yeah, I've seen uh, several people were, were doing it and I was like, oh, they beat me to it because I typically do mine pretty early, but I guess I was slacking. But here it is. Designer fragrance is kind of my go-to most of the time. And uh, I've got 10 really good ones. Some that I haven't reached for in a really long time and some that are new releases that are new to the collection that I'm excited to wear for the appropriate season, which is the winter 2023 moving into 2024. Stay tuned. Starting with one I haven't reached for in a long time that gets related to Spice Bomb. I get it. It's a little of its own thing, but it definitely smells similar to is Givenchy Gentleman Only. Absolute. You don't see anybody talk about this one. It has the newer style label. doesn't have the red label like it used to. Decent performer. Six to eight hour range and longevity. Very spicy, woodsy. Nice and warm, aromatic, sweet. Good stuff. Definitely similar to but not exactly like Spice Bomb. I think this is definitely a bit sweeter than Spice Bomb, but man, this is good stuff for those of you that like spicy fragrances, more specifically, the slightly synthetic, more designer style. This is good stuff, kind of like Gentleman Only meets Spice Bomb. For those of you that have tried the Purple Juice Gentleman Only, kind of that uh, kind of slightly fruity, smoky, woodsy fragrance with a lot of Spice Bomb's DNA mixed in is kind of how you can look at it. Great for cutting through the cold, versatile, can pull a compliment or two from most people, I'm sure, though I don't recall ever distinctively getting any compliments. It definitely has that attractive DNA that might work for you. You never know if that kind of stuff's important, but it definitely smells really good and it doesn't really get a whole lot of love. It's Javante Gentleman only, absolute. This next one's a 2023 release that I don't think it's enough love. I think it's one of the best designers to come out this year. It's in one of my favorite lines. It is Emporio Armani's Stronger With You Amber. I'm a fan. I'm definitely a fan. The opening reminds me of kind of the sweet and floral heavy tone from Mancera's Instant Crush with a fiery hot spice, like cinnamon type of spice. And then it dries into a nice amber vanilla tone that's related a bit more to the Strong With You DNA. I'm a fan. I'm such a fan. And I know this came out to mixed reviews, which kind of perplexes me a little bit because it's really good if you like the Strong With You DNA. You're going to like this one. Yeah, it's very much an amber-based fragrance, but it also has a lot of vanilla. You have to like It's more of an amber vanilla with some florals and hot spice at the top. Very hot spice feel. Because the note breakdown, I thought this was a tester that had the notes on it. It is not, apparently. No, no it wasn't a tester. But it shows like lavender, vanilla, and amber as the three notes. But there's more going on than that, guys. And it performs really well. I know that's very important to a lot of people. I get great longevity. Great projection and sillage. It's not quite the beast that intensely is, but it's pretty close in the performance. Most of them in this line perform great. This will knife through the cold, no problem. Like I said, fiery hot spice in the top. This is a great release for 2023. It's Emporio Armani, Stronger With You Amber. Speaking of spice, so I believe, and this is an opinion, obviously, all of it's opinion. It's my favorite designer release of 2023, Spice Bomb Infrared. Eau de Parfum from Victor and Rolf. I love it. Resinous, smoky, leathery, fiery hot spice. Ties to the DNA greatly. Matures and, and kind of evolves upon what infrared eau de toilette was about. Amps up the dark, kind of more animalistic tones like this resinous, leathery feel that it has. Man, this is so good. This is so good. More people need to try this. Even if you have the Eau de Toilette, I don't think it's super redundant. Because sure, you smell infrared Eau de Toilette here, but it's a clear evolution in the scent profile, not just an increase in oil concentration. This smells so good. If you like resins and leather, and I don't mean super rough and tumble leather, but you still have that fiery, hot, warm, spicy feel from the DNA. This is Mwah, magnifique, my favorite designer release of the year. Built for the cold, in my opinion. That's why I can't wait to pull this one out. Definitely get your nose on this one. 
It's Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb Infrared Eau de Parfum. Woodsy, floral, citrus, a little fresh, but very smooth and thick. This is one that has a little bit of freshness, but also that wearability to last through the cold. I think this is a nice versatile daily wear option. It's Gucci Guilty Parfum Pour Homme. Big fan of this one. So the orange blossom comes across very smooth here. You get a little bit of citrus, you get some woods. It's got a touch of warmth, but more fresh than it is warm overall. I like it a lot. I like it a lot, a lot. I think when it comes to the ones that smell specifically like the original Gucci Guilty's DNA, this is the best one. This is far superior to the Intense, I think. The Eau de Parfum, I don't find, smells that much like them because it's got some odd notes like vinegar and sea salt and things like that. Beautiful fragrance. But it doesn't quite smell as much like the original. I believe Gucci Guilty Black is pretty similar to those. Gucci Guilty O, oh, more iris-based. That's a beautiful fragrance. That's probably my number two behind this for daily wear. But I think this is the most wearable daily option for men in the Gucci Guilty line. It's just so enjoyable. It's a little bit different. It doesn't smell like a bunch of other things outside of its own DNA, which I appreciate from Gucci. And it adds, it offers a little bit of freshness for those that just don't want warm and spicy and heavily sweet and everything for the cold. You want something a bit more versatile. I think this is a great option to maybe consider this winter. And this Gucci Guilty Parfum Pour Homme. Now here's a reach back for me that I'm actually pretty excited to, to smell. I sprayed this one when I was gathering the fragrances for this video topic. Let's talk about Versace Eros Parfum specifically. So, no secret that, you know, Eros Flame and Eros Eau de Parfum are kind of my two favorites. But if you want a little bit warmer, maybe not as playful, a little bit more refined to the original's DNA, because Eros Flame's almost its own thing. It ties the DNA, but it's like a flankered DNA. Whereas they do all concentration upgrades for the base DNA. You got EDT, EDP, Parfum, and they all tweak and twist but smell like arrows this smells like arrows with a tweak and twist but tweak and twist is more warm and ambery it's not as playful it's a bit smoother as it dries down it is good stuff if i gotta pick one for the winter i would pick this over the other three really i think for spring and fall flames great and i think the edt and the edp for spring and fall are also great. I think all three of those work well in those transitional seasons. But distinctively in the winter, where it's colder more times than not in most places, I want the warmer, smoother option, maybe a little bit more density to the aroma, not necessarily just loud and overwhelming projection to grab everybody. That's not always what I'm looking for. I do like the longevity, though. Don't get me wrong. This performs really well, tones back that loudness a bit without sacrificing the longevity. And like I said, warms up that apple and Broxen vanilla aromatic smell. It's, it's still Eros, but warmer and smoother. I think it's a great choice for the winter, honestly. It's Versace Eros Parfum. Now this one may surprise some of you. I do like it. And yeah, I'm gonna wear the Elixir. I'm gonna wear the Elixir. Don't get me wrong. It's one of the best releases of the year. Because I know people are gonna be like, what about the Elixir? Boss Bottled Parfum, last year's release. So I think this is better than it gets credit for. Uh, it doesn't smell a whole lot like Boss Bottled. That's my only gripe with it. But if you look at it just as a fragrance, just not that it's a Boss Bottled fragrance, because I don't, it, it's not what I envision Boss Bottled Parfum to smell like. It's got a beautiful smell. Iris, kind of an herbal green leather smell. And it's smoky. I like it. Is it my favorite Boss Bottled? No. But I think for the cold weather... The darkness, the earthy tone with the powdery floral feel, I think it's actually great for the time of year. See, I like that. It's got this herbaceous green leathery, I think it's a vegan leather accord or something like that is actually the official note slash accord. It's an accord is what it is, but it, it's quite nice. I like these kind of oddball boss bottle fragrances like Oud Aromatic. Huge fan of that. Huge, you hear me? Huge fan of that one. Uh, and I debated on talking about that one here, but I want to shine a little bit more spotlight on the Parfum because I don't think it gets any. I think it kind of gets a raw deal when it comes to the online community, and more people should just give it a chance. I'm not saying go out and blind buy this. Don't do that. If you can sample it, sample it. If any of the notes, accords, or anything I'm saying sounds attractive to you, it's worth trying out. Smell it floating in the air. It's good stuff. It's not near as good as the Elixir. Like I said, I'm going to wear the Elixir, but I wanted to shed a little bit of light on this one because I think it, it doesn't get a fair shake 
for what it is because it's actually a, ni a really nice fragrance. If you like the style, it just doesn't really smell like Boss Bottle, but I'm going to reach for it this winter. It's Boss Bottle Parfum. Now here's a fragrance that deserves some love. If you like sweet and you like floral, you will like Youp Homme Le Parfum. It's a bona fide cheapie at this point. You can get it for 30 some odd bucks. I think it's like 3.7 ounce or something like that. 4.2 ounce, my apologies. So it's two-staged. That's how it comes across to me. You get kind of gourmand sweet and earthy floral. Transitions into smooth, creamy vanilla smell with fluffy, powdery iris. Soft, powdery, and creamy sweet. Versus you get praline and like a violet smell. The iris comes across that earthy violet smell and then it turns into vanilla and typical designer iris. And it's quite lovely. It's a monster performer. It does smell a little bit like the original, but so far superior to the original Yupa Ohm. It's not even it's not even a joke. It's not funny. It's not to be made a meme of. It's really just that much better. Of course, this is my opinion, but I know there's a lot of you that have tried this that will probably agree with me. This is so good. There it is. There's that earthiness. And it gets compared online to different versions of Stronger With You. And sure, I can get a little bit, but I'm smelling this earthy iris smell at the top. I don't know how you can smell this and say, ooh, Stronger With You. Now, as it transitions and dries, sure, if there was such a thing as an iris-based Stronger With You fragrance, I guess this could be the one. Armani Beauty, we need an iris-based Stronger With You. Give it to us. There, there it is. Um, but, God, this smells so good. It's such a monster. It's really engulfing the airspace now that I put that spray in the air. It's beautiful stuff. Obviously, you, like to, you have to like sweet and powdery floral, which most will think, oh, that's going to lean way too feminine. And for some of you, it might. But for those of you that like iris or like sweet fragrances, it's one of the better ones out there, especially in that $30 to $40 range. It's a monster performer, which matters to a lot of people. You don't need a lot of sprays. This will knife through that cold. No damn problem. This is one I strongly encourage you checking out. I will be wearing it this winter for damn sure. It's Youp Homme Le Parfum. A staple in my winter collection every year. I have a 200 milliliter bottle. I only wear it in the winter. It's Boss The Scent Private Accord. Like this is my big 200 milliliter bottle. I'm such a fan of this one. For the longest time, it was my favorite version of the scent. The Elixir uh, Boss The Scent Magnetic, I mean, I think is the best one. Absolute, really, really good. But the chocolate accord that you get here with this soft leather, a little powdery sweet, and that sweet Maninka fruit, it doesn't come across boozy like it does in the Absolute, the Maninka fruit, but the Siage, the trail in this one, it's magic. I had a coworker, shout out to my buddy Matt if you have to see, happen to see this. He used to wear this to work. So I used to smell it on him, not just like, I, I put him on, I gave him a carded sample after I had already got this bottle, and he ended up getting a bottle. He loved it. So when I wasn't wearing it, which I have so many fragrances, not all the time I wear it, I would smell it on him because there was a stretch when he was rocking this bad boy. So this is magic in the air, guys. This stuff smells amazing. I don't know how easy it is to find these days. Um, I'll try to have a link below if I can. But this is worth checking out. This is a Christmas time wintry staple for me. Cuts through the cold. It's warm enough. It's dense. It's got a little bit more complexity than pretty much the rest of the line, in my opinion. And there's an argument for being the highlight of the line and the best of. I'm not going to argue against that. Even though I'm saying Magnetic's the one for me, I'm not going to argue against this being the best one because, I mean, it's also the one I have a 200 ml bottle of. That factors in, right? So definitely a regular for me in the winter. Boss Descent, Private Accord. With this next one, we got to reach back. I literally sprayed this in the air this morning when I gathered these fragrances before I went to the gym. And when I sprayed it, my ceiling fan put the whole mist right on my face. So my whole face, all this morning, smelled like by the fireplace. When I went to the gym, I smelled like by the fireplace. Mason Margiela Replica line. This is, it's a modern Christmas time classic. Winter, smoky woods, it's by the fireplace, as it indicates. It's so spot on. Chestnut, dry roasted chestnut, burning woods, sweet Smoky wood, burning wood accord. They really, they really encapsulate it. It smells of really good quality. There's clones out there that smell like it, but none of them quite capture the essence of this fragrance. I find they get close, but they're not quite the feeling that this one emits when you smell it. 
this is a beautiful fragrance. Sure, Jazz Club would work right here. I'm sure Autumn Vibes, I, which I haven't tried. Coffee Break, really, really good coffee fragrance. They've got some great stuff here. They recreate certain things. Um, and I think when it comes to warm and cozy, quality warm and cozy for the winter time, I mean, this is one of the greatest to do it in the last 20 years, honestly, for men. And ladies can wear this too. Sure, it's masculine, but nowadays the, the line between what's feminine and what's masculine has been blurred so heavily. Because uh, there's a lot of very, very feminine-leaning fragrances I wear, and there's a lot of ladies in this community that wear a lot of straight-up, smells like manly, masculine scents, but they work on them. They work on these ladies' skins. So wear what you like at any given time. That's the moral of this story. And when it comes to wintertime, it's a modern classic, in my opinion. And I haven't wore, I didn't wear it last winter, so we're putting it in the rotation this winter. It's Mason Margiela Replica by the Fireplace. Last but most certainly not least, probably the one I'm looking forward to wearing the most because I think it's one of the best designer releases of the year, hands down. It's a smoky vanilla with some earthy patchouli. It's a little woodsy. It is Invictus Victory Elixir from Paco Rabanne. Man, what an improvement. Victory was, was good. It didn't blow me away. Like, the first time I tried it, I was like, it's nice. I'll get it eventually, but I'm not in a hurry. Which, that says a lot. It's, I'm not blown away by it. If it's like, yeah, I like it, I will get it, but I don't have to have it right now. That was not the case with this. I actually blind bought this and was like, Whew. okay, now we're talking. So very smoky, warm, ambery vanilla smell that dries into this earthy patchouli smell. I love, love, it sounds very simple. It's not the most complex and deep of fragrances, but it just works. You can get that earthiness early on. It's It just works. It performs great, too, because I know that's super important to people. This will knife through the cold. This will pull some compliments. Yeah, it's not the most serious fragrance. Probably not the greatest choice for dressing up, but bomber jackets, leather jackets, quarter zips, things like that in the winter. V hoodies. I love my hoodies. All of that absolutely works with this. This is not something I would wear a suit jacket with, but then again... Who's to say you can't pull it off with a suit jacket? Everybody's got a certain situation and confidence about them. and Wear whatever the hell you want. I just think, personally, that's the kind of route I would go with it. One of the best releases of the year. Definitely built to cut through the cold. I think it's very cozy, very cuddly, while having that little something extra that fragrance enthusiasts that have smelled tons of fragrances can still appreciate from a designer. And I think that's where this addition of the dominance of this particular patchouli it, it separates it for me and what makes it such a great designer option. So definitely looking forward to wearing this one this winter. It's Paco Rabanne's Invictus Victory Elixir. Well, that's the 10. Not the only 10 that I'm going to reach for in the winter, but the main 10 that I'm most excited about wearing and ones I would strongly encourage you to check out if you haven't yet. Once again, I'll try to have links to everything below. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe because I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. Of these 10, what have you tried? What are you familiar with? Have you been meaning to try some of these? Maybe this was the little push to get you over that edge where you're going to, you know what, I'm getting a decan, I'm getting a sample, or I'm ready to buy a bottle, I know I like it. I've been putting it off. Ross, thanks for reminding me. Let me know in the comments. I want to read about it down low. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these 10 and you give them a spray now, there's always that chance that you might thank me later. Have a good one, guys.